to the virtual groom room. My name is Jack, your host, and today I'm bringing you another shaving video. So, what am I using? This is a special one for me today, and this is going to be with Decoration Grooming Massacre of the Innocents. Pretty bold name. I don't particularly know why he called it that, but hey. Um, the reason why this is special to me is this is uh, their new soap base. Um, Decoration Grooming have been using a very good soap base for a, a while now. Um, they've been using Icarus. He has recently come up with what many people call the best soap base on the market. This is Milk Steak, M-I-L-K-S-T-E-A-K. -E um, the soap itself, this is, like I said, this is Massacre of the Innocents. When he released them, he released a few. He released uh, the unscented version, Bandwagon, Dark Fall, this one, Massacre of the Innocents, um, After the Rain. There might have been another one, but those are the ones I remember on the top of my head. To me, this one smells like a, a spicier version of this cologne. This is uh, La Nuit de Le Homme by Yves Saint Laurent. Uh, it smells very similar. In fact, let's do a test here. So I believe this might be a dupe. I might be wrong, I've not researched this. It smells like a bit of a dupe to me. I don't know if it is, correct me if I'm wrong, but it smells very similar. Comparing directly to the Icarus base, this to me is softer. Um, I saw Rod's shaving, uh, Jason Rudman, review this and he he frankly just gave it a 100 out of 100. I've never seen him do that. Don't particularly notice where he goes from here, but hey, um, that is what I'm going to be shaving with today and I'm really looking forward to it. My razor of choice today is none other than the aluminum Christopher Bradley razor. This is using the SBC plate. Um, when I was in Edmonton, I, I originally had the B plate with this, but when I was in Edmonton, I decided to pick up the C plate as well because I like to raise I wanted a little bit more efficiency. So yeah, really looking forward to using those two items. And my brush of choice is going to be my black anvil shaving. Now this, 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 uh, this handle uses 5,000 year old Irish oak. Um, the knot is wonderful as you can see. I mean, look at that. It's very dense, very nice. I think it's a silver tip knot, not quite sure. Um, I guess what we do from here is we go away, we prep the face, we load the brush, and I'll see you guys for the first pass. Okay guys, face is prepped and uh, my brush is loaded. I've, I've, I may have loaded too much. I, I kind of underestimated how uh, soft the soap was. <laughs> and uh, I've loaded quite a bit here, as you can see, but let's get to lathering up. Oh yeah, this is dry. paint it on first and then we'll just start adding water. So from what I've been told by Scott, um, this, this base itself has a larger hydration band than Icarus. My only criticism of Icarus, and this was my only criticism, um, was that it, the way I would describe it is if you overhydrated it, it fell off really, really fast. I've been told this doesn't do that in the same manner, so we'll we'll see about that. I'm sure this is a dilute, uh, dilute. I'm sure this is a dupe. Fucking hell. Fucking bloody flinging lather everywhere. <laughs> I just cleaned the bloody mirror as well, so it's a bit of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. So, um, while I lather up here, how are you all? I am, I'm okay. Another busy week with calf shaving. Uh, we're going through a bit of a transitionary period at the moment. I'm not really going to sh shed light on what that means, but it's hectic. So I'm not going to add water for a little bit. I'm literally just going to build the lather because I don't really know how much it can take. To me, that seems fine, but it seems like not quite enough water to me in terms of just the amount I've added thus far. Uh, so we're just gonna keep going. 
I really hate getting soap on the handle of the uh, brush. See, I'm not entirely sure if I've overhydrated this already. I don't think I have. In fact, I'm sure I haven't, so. So we're just gonna keep Yeah, we're just going to keep working it this way. So yeah, I've been told this soap base is one of the best. In fact, uh, Jason Rodman said it was the best. So we'll see about that. There's a few other bases that I think are top, top, top tier. Uh, for me, that is A&E's base, the uh, Tallow and Goat's Milk, the Excelsior base by Barristan Man. I would still put the... Um, the grooming department, Janice, Janice, Janice base up there. The um, Bafala base by uh, Holy Cow, or Holy Cow, however you want to pronounce it. Um, yeah, this, I'm not particularly sure what the, if the water band has improved too much. However, I can immediately tell how this feels on my face and this, this stuff is very, very slick. I, I'm, like I just said, I'm sure this is the cologne goop. I mean, I'm gonna check after this. And it might just be like a no shit sort of thing, but I'm, I'm almost positive. It, it, it really does smell like it. I think I'm happy with this. So let's have a look. That's about the amount of hydration I like. So we're gonna go with that. I, I, I'm looking forward to trying the uh, straight with this. Very nice, okay. So we'll lather it up. Um, good lather, very slick. Very low structure, as I expected, as was the Icarus base. Let's uh, get to shaving here. So this is the Christopher Bradley with a C plate. This is the aluminum variant, which in comparison is much, much lighter to the stainless and brass, um, or aluminum, as I would normally say. I live in America, I'm used to pronouncing things in an American way. Um, this is the C plate with a first use Paul Silver Super Iridium. Much more blade feel. Whew. On this across the grain pass is when I'll know if it's thicker than Excelsior. For me, because the razor is so light, I'm really feeling the blade. Man, oh man, is this smooth. As much as I love this razor, it really can lull you into a false sense of security. Because it's just so smooth, and there's almost no resistance. You're just inclined to overshade. So, um, one of the criticisms we've heard a lot of the Christopher Bradley design, and I'll show you in a minute, is this. And um, we're gonna be addressing this at some, in some point in the future. I'll tell you what, that is extremely slick. <laughs> uh, Very, very slick in fact. So I can tell you it's very slick. <laughs> Man, 
Jesus. That C plate's wonderful. Let me uh, rinse the face and we'll get to lathering up for our second pass. So we're gonna drop the face and do a bit of a residual slickness test. For all of you that like light razors over heavy razors, I would highly consider Holy, holy shit, look at this. Holy shit. That's the best residual slickness I've ever felt. Um, holy shit, let's lather up. I would actually say that I'm getting a better second pass lather out of this than Icarus as well. I think that is probably relative to the the duration of loading, really. Um, the softness of the base. It's very soft. Uh, well, not Murphy McNeil soft, but it's still soft. So what I'm gonna do, just to add another base layer of hydration onto this, is we're just gonna lightly sprinkle the brush and kind of go over it again, so. And when I say lightly sprinkle, I really mean it like just trickle some water down the sides and just paint again. Just give it that extra layer. Still wonderful, it really is. Um, as far as luxury soap goes, you just cannot go wrong. And for me, that doesn't just apply to this. That's everything. Um, it's gone to the point now where pretty much anything you pick, on like West Coast shaving or something, so you're gonna get something good. Um, fantastic time to be a wet shaver. Just go cross grain. Yep, that's extremely fucking slick. <laughs> yeah, that's that's the slickest soap base I've ever tried. It really is. <laughs> I mean, look, I can't even. I, I can't even pull my skin across. It's that slick. Fuck. What well, this is a wonderful, wonderful shave. Again, I hate some bias, and if I get slated for this, whatever. I'm extremely proud to know that I am associated with a razor like this. Um, the company itself has had its shortcomings, I'm not going to deny that, but man. That is... Just that slickness. There's like this, there's this slickness, but underneath the slickness, there's this really fatty protective layer, like this almost tacky protective layer. It's just, man. I'm trying to avoid my trouble spot, which is here. It's really the only part of my neck that I get irritation. Man. Oh, man. 
<laughs> okay, I think that's the shape. Um, let me have a feel around. My white balance has just suddenly gone all weird. Okay. I apologize for that, whatever happened there. Meh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let's have a feel around. I always leave little bits here because these are just trouble spots. I'm pretty happy with that. Um, let's rinse. Let's get the loose soap out of the brush. Fucking tons of it, as you can see here. Fucking hell, that's, that is hydrated, I'm telling you. Just dropped a big gob of it in the sink. <laughs> Smells very milky. No tallow funk, thankfully. That makes me sell soaps. Like a Frankenlime by Grooming Department. Had this just awful, awful tallow funk smell. I got it out periodically, but it just came back. Okay, um, yeah, I I'm extremely happy with that. Uh, I stand by what I just said, and I think that it's possibly the slickest soap I've ever experienced. Um, for me, at the moment, the best post-shave goes to A&E. Uh, I think A&E, A&E's post-shave is probably on a different level, but we'll see how this is uh, when I come back. Yeah, I'm going to clean up my gear, clean up the area, and I guess I'll see you guys for the post-shave. Be right back. Hey, guys, welcome back. So the post shave on this is very, very, very good. <laughs> um, I, I'd shit, shit, almost fucking threw the camera everywhere. Um, I'd say it's probably on par with A and E. It's so difficult to tell these things apart, to be honest. Um, post shave though. So I'm gonna go with uh, my recent escapade to Canada has got me the frosted variants of the male grooming splashes, and you guys know how much I love those. I unfortunately was an idiot and didn't pick up the splash for this, but hey, um, let's get a good bit of this on, and we'll get spread. God, got a bit of alcohol on my nose. Yes. <laughs> If you haven't used this, the uh, frosted variant, he adds just the perfect amount of menthol on this to where it doesn't drastically change the scent at all, um, but it's just this nice, I guess, subtle chill on your face, and it stays there for a little while too. Okay, uh, let's recap the gear. My soap was a debut for the channel. This is, is it focusing? This is Declaration Milk Steak. Massacre of the Innocents. Um, for me, as I said, is like a YSL dupe. It might not be. I think it is, because it, it smells very, very similar. However, this is possibly the best soap base I've tried. I'm gonna need to spend some more time with it, but outstanding. My razor of choice is the ever so reliable Christopher Bradley razor. Uh, and this is in the aluminium or aluminum variant with a SBC plate. Like I said, the blade in this is a Paul Silver Super Iridium and my brush. Um, a bit of, bit of uh, feedback on this brush manufacturer. This is uh, Black Anvil Shaving out of Ireland, uh, as you can see here. For me, this guy is the best wood brush maker there is. Um, I've not seen any better brush maker with wood than him. He does some incredibly beautiful designs. Yeah. If you know me, I really like these kind of minimalistic, I guess like bare bones raw wood designs and I don't think anyone does them better than him. So if you are a fan of wooden brushes, I would highly, highly recommend you check him out. And if I remember, I'm gonna put a uh, link of his um, in the description. Uh, have a chat with him, he's, he's a really, really good guy and 
yeah, he'll help you out. But apart from that, yeah, that's my show today, guys. It's nice being with you again. Um, I was in Denver recently. I, I watched uh, the band Tall live. Uh, one of the best live shows I've been to. I've seen most of the music I like live and they definitely set a new standard there. But yeah, I'm really happy today. I'm squinting a little bit because the menthol does make me squint a little bit. But yeah, uh, it is Friday evening. Have a really good weekend to come. And uh, if Chris Madden, you're watching, I hope Liverpool absolutely better Man United on Sunday. Uh, top of the league, drawing first with the longest winning streak in Premier League history. Then we'd have Tottenham to come and we'd break the record after facing Man United. So, yeah, looking good. Weekend looking good. Apart from that, as your host Jack from the Virtual Grim Room, mind my squinting and goodbye for now.